name's Agatha Chandamwape. I'm coming from Solwezi. Uh, what brought me here of late, I just started getting sick. Actually, some time back, I've been on hypertensive drugs, but later in three months, I developed seizures. I experienced my first seizure in August. The second one I had it in September. The last one it happened so listen some five days ago. I never had seizures in my childhood life. From the time I was born, I never had them and none in my family has them. I just developed them so listen. So it was so a surprising thing just to find myself having those seizures. And the first time it happened, it happened when I was driving. I was coming from town, I was with a friend. Then when we reached the hump, that's where I, I just, she just saw me passed out while I was in the driver's seat. Then she screamed, she stopped the car, and people came to my rescue. From there, I was admitted in the hospital. I didn't believe myself. Mm -mm, I never had such things. It's not true. Later, after I had the second one at home, when I came back again from town with my family, we went out for lunch. Then after coming from town, I entered in the house. I collapsed. I had the second one. That was a month after. The recent one, it happened in the night when I was sleeping. My husband just saw me like I was passing out. He tried to wake me up. He tried all what he could do, nothing. That's when he said, no, this thing is getting out of hand. They never said anything much. They just said, you have epilepsy. So I asked them, does it come? Even in the late age, when you never had them from childhood, they, never, they couldn't even explain anything to me. Later after, he said, no, let me try to find out more. I went to my Soko hospital in Lusaka. There they did the CT scan, they did the blind scan, all the scans they could do, they did them. All the tests they could do, they did them. They couldn't find anything. They couldn't find anything wrong with me. And um, there I shared with my sisters and everyone. So I was called to come back home. That's how I came and I was told, oh, let's try the player life. Let's go change Kudibam Lenga and see what God can do for you. That's how I was brought here this morning. We came this morning, we registered, and we were told to come in the afternoon. So far you have done what? Please talk to the sister. <laughs> so far you have done what? You have done what? She's now epileptic. Oh, Agatha. Eh? Agatha, she's epileptic. Who is Agatha? Oh, I'm finishing her now. You are finishing I'm finishing her now. What have you done to the daughter? The husband? Oh, I want to destroy them all. Okay. I want to destroy them all, not give up peace. You said ah. this one has become what? Ah. Ah. Who gave her this seizure? Ah. 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 Will you stop that nonsense and ah. You say she's now epileptic. Yes. Who is behind that epileptic? I. Hmm? I. You. Ah. Who are you? You are a snake. Eh? Okay. Move like a snake. Move like a snake. 
Mommy, this one is your daughter. Or your sister. Okay. Okay, look at this woman. Please, let's up. You say she's now epileptic. Hmm? Hmm? Who is behind that? I Who are you? I, I, Who are you? Ancestral power. Look at this woman. Oh, I know her. You know her. What have done to her? I'm destroying them all. You are destroying them all. Yes. Who is she I to you? Torment them. I'll torment them. Ah! You said you are the ancestral. Oh yeah. From which side? Oh, the father's the side. The father's side. Uh, mommy, I see this. Uh, for three months, she's having this seizure. It was not there before. No. And she had done it three times. Oh, she has, she has been to the yes. scanning machine. Yes, everything is okay. okay. The last time she had, I think, four or five days ago, it was when she was sleeping, in a sleep. In a sleep? Yes. And she started fitting? Yes. Okay, what have you done to the whole entire family as ancestral? Hmm? You have scattered them all. You have scattered them all? Yeah. How? Oh, they have nothing to point out. They have nothing to point out. Yeah. To, their, their, to their parents, what have you done? They are no more. Okay. Oh, no them. Ah! Ah! She's here. Why did you allow her to come here? She's so stubborn. Okay, you say you are the ancestral. Oh. Look here. It's okay, man. Look here. Remove your seizure. Why are you covering your face? You are bending me. Hmm? Are you bending me with your light? With my light. Are you a tumble? This light want to remove what you have put here. Carry your seizure. The mighty name of Jesus. Remove it. Remove it in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. You are safe. You know where you belong. Jesus. You must go. What you are putting up cannot save you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go now. Go. Look here. Go. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come out. Eh? Who are you? Open your eyes. Open your eyes. You are asking me who I am. Hmm? Open your eyes. Thank you. Go now. Carry your epilepsy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now get out, your ancestor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we try. Restore our altars again. Yeah, we cry. You ancestral, never you come back again. In Jesus' name. Oh, restore, restore our love Thank you, Lord you Jesus. Again. You are free. In Jesus' name. Restore, 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 My that you are free. Stand up. Free. Caesar is God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Yes, we cry. Restore our fire again. Um, this morning when I came, uh, I thought maybe we'll not even be welcomed. We'll be asked where we are coming from will be asked maybe we thought maybe we have to be here with an invitation letter but when we came we were asked what we are here for we explained we are we were welcomed and um, 
we thank God they uh, we were put on the player line. Mm -hmm. And this afternoon we met the man of God. Just want to say thank you for the message of the road that he has put upon the man of God. Thank you for the healing power that God has put upon the man of God. I saw a big light on my face. I couldn't look into his eyes and I couldn't look at him. There was a big flash of light coming from his, his face. I couldn't look at his eyes. When I looked at him, I felt, I could feel, I couldn't stand the light. I couldn't stand the light. My life it hasn't been easy. I've got a child with sickle cell anemia. I've gone through so much hardships. Whatever I touch, I miss them. Sometimes back I had a big contract with the mines where I was supplying the foodstuffs. Later after, I lost that contract. So life on my side has been hard. It has been hard. Though my husband has, be, has been there for me, he has been there sustaining our family, but on my part where I feel I need to support my husband, it has been so hard on me. I can't support him, I can't support my family. I can't stand without him. Before I came, I had a heavy part on my head. I was feeling like I was carrying something heavy, a heavy load on me, on my back and on my head. And even in my heart, the way I was just breathing, sometimes I could feel like I would end my breath any time. Sometimes I could feel like in Deshin Shumkila, like I've cried for some time. That thing used to come a lot. But as at now, I can't feel like that anymore. I can't feel the heavy load on my head again. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus, for restoring me. Thank you for giving me back my life. Thank you that, God, you've made me to stand again. Thank you for your messes. We want to work with us. I'm encouraging you. Taku abachimbi church da pamlo pawa yesu. Mam bivadi tuisha ko. Atimbuk tuisha ko fia sha la dimbuk fia mposha. I didn't find anything. I feel we just have to continue trusting upon the Lord. Taku abai church da pamlo pawa yesu. Apart from whom Lord our Jesus Christ, let's trust on the Lord. Let's trust on the blood of Jesus. Let's continue blessing. Surely we shall have our healing.